My name is Nicholas Frain. Today, Zach Aberman and myself will be going over basic fracture table setup. This is designed as a learning opportunity for residents and operating room staff to become familiar with the equipment prior to use in the operating room. The table has multiple removable components to become familiar with. There are two leg pieces and two side pieces in relation to the central post site. There's also side attachments for clamps. The leg components will be removed once the patient has been appropriately positioned. This can be done by pulling the release tab locking mechanism as seen in the video here. The side pieces can be removed in a similar mechanism the component ipsilateral to the fracture will be removed while the other side will remain in place. The central post can then be inserted. Reconstruction of the table components is done in the reverse manner, pulling on the release lock while inserting into its appropriate position. Next, we will focus our attention to the operative leg traction assembly. There are multiple controls that allow you to change the position of the leg and adjust the traction. The contralateral bar can be folded back. The most proximal knob must be loosened to rotate the proximal elbow, and the distal knob for its corresponding elbow. Remember to tighten completely before beginning traction. The proximal knobs will allow control of abduction and adduction of the leg. Important technical point is to make sure the angle is facing midline. If the proximal angle is facing outward, it may impede intraoperative radiographs. There are specific knobs just distal to the foot holder that will allow you to control ankle, dorsi, and plantar flexion and internal and external rotation of the foot and leg. The leg holder is attached to the large bar. Loosening this enables elevation or lowering of the leg to induce flexion and extension. The knob just proximal to this is how you gain gross traction once the leg has been strapped in. The traction control handle seen here can be adjusted to obtain fine traction. It is an important pearl to remember to keep the fine traction in its most proximal position prior to gross traction. These are the supplies that we will be using to set up the patient. Once the patient is intubated, you can safely begin positioning. The side piece that we had previously looked at must be removed prior to inserting the central post. After this, the patient should be moved down completely to the post. We begin positioning with the operative leg. Prior to strapping the foot in, we wrap the foot and ankle with web roll for protection against skin tears and to provide cushion from the straps. An abdominal pad can be placed in the heel of the foot holder for additional protection. With the foot holder loosened, we can slide it proximally so that the foot and heel sit snug against the base of the foot holder. We ensure that the heel is fully down in the boot so that our traction and changes of position move the entire limb and the foot does not come out of the holder. The straps are pulled over the dorsum of the foot in a crossing pattern and put through the slits in the foot holder before being reflected and velcroed down. Different tables may have slight variations in this adapter to the foot holder. Some may have a boot with straps that is applied to the foot and then attached to the rest of the apparatus. To ensure a tight wrapping of the foot, one can use coban or alternatively tape if a firmer grasp is needed. Be mindful not to overcompress the dorsum of the foot as this can cause nerve injuries if the patient is in traction for an extended period of time. Turning our attention to the contralateral leg, the well leg holder is placed into the side clamp onto the table. 
and the leg is placed in flexion and abduction. The leg is secured with an ace wrap. We can now safely remove the table attachments below the leg as previously described. Positioning of this leg is important so as to allow clear passage of the C-arm intraoperatively. This can be checked before preparation. It is important to safely control the ipsilateral arm so that it is out of the operative field and won't interfere with instrument use once surgery has begun. We have placed the arm over the patient's chest on top of a pillow and then provided protection with a blanket and the arm is secured with tape. There are alternative wrist straps that can be used for the same purpose. The foot can be placed into the desired position. Abduction and adduction can be adjusted, and appropriate traction can be applied using either gross or fine traction as previously discussed. This can be done with C-arm guidance prior to surgical site preparation to confirm adequate reduction of the fracture. An alternative method to the well leg holder is to secure the contralateral leg in a scissor position. Some surgeons will prefer to put both legs into holders, which isn't shown in this video. When positioning the well leg in the scissor position, it is important to well pad the leg on the lower bar using a pillow or other padding device. A blanket is then placed over the leg and it is wrapped with either coban or ace wrap to secure it in position. One option for preparation is to use poles proximally and distally to suspend a sterile shower curtain over the operative field. It is important that these are the same height before connecting them. The rest of the preparation here should be done sterilely after scrubbing and prepping the field. The shower drape is shown here, following the arrow facing up so you can remove the covering from the drape, which will allow it to be applied to the skin on the sterile field. The shower curtain drape is then flipped over the pole straps and sticks to itself to adhere in place. Clamps can be placed on the bottom of the drape to hold it down when moving the C-arm in and out during the operative procedure. Thank you for taking the time to view our video. As a reminder, this is one example of a fracture table and the general principles for positioning a patient. These principles should be applicable to different types of tables with different adapters and different equipment. Please use care when positioning patients to avoid iatrogenic injury. Thank you for your time.